Hello and welcome to highlights of stage three of the Giro on the 33rd edition of this race. The third of the stages starting in Sardinia. And yesterday's stage winner, world champion and Italian Elisa Balsamo started the day in the Malia Rosa. She had a four second advantage over Kristen Faulkner at eight seconds over Georgia Baker, who is wearing the purple points jersey. The stage would kick things off with a 21.3 kilometer descent, 113.4 kilometers in length. It was a fairly flat stage that rocked and rolled its way up the coast towards the intermediate sprint of Bodoni with 40.9 kilometers to go. And then the runner up towards the finish, fairly technical on the run in, and then a long finishing straight could be a perfect day for the sprinters. The early breakaway group of Marketa Hajkova, Asia Zontonia and Alice Palazzi had got clear. They had a 55 second advantage over the chasers, 2.51 to the peloton, but another blisteringly hot day for over 30 degrees Celsius, 30% humidity and a 14 kilometer an hour headwind. A chasing group of eight riders of Giulia Marcassini, Gemma Sinisi, Giorgia Vettorella, Lucia Gonzalez, Jennifer Duquara, Katia Ragusa, Alessia Misagia and Alessia Vigilia. They got close, but as they hit the intermediate sprint, it would be Asia Zontoni that took the bonus seconds ahead of Palazzi and Hashkova. The chasing group had got close, but it would be an attack by the teammate of Palazzi in Alessia Vigilia, who attacked from group two. The peloton were closing in fast on the group. Vigilia would be joined at the uh, chase by Katia Ragusa of the Live Extra team. These riders would, though, make contact with the breakaway group. The peloton, though, as they headed towards the final 20 kilometers of the stage, were really starting to eat into the gap. The chasers were caught with 16 kilometers to go as the multiple sprinters teams were just collecting themselves at the front, looking to deliver their sprinters yet again. It was Francesca Braus of Sarah Tizit WNT in the Queen of the Mountains green jersey that made the catch to the final duo with seven kilometers to go. And from here on in, it was all about the lead outs. Movi Star came through to the front with Annemiek van Vleuten and uh, trying to deliver for Emma Norsgaard. Arlena Sierra was also up towards the front. For DSM, they were looking for Charlotte Cool and for Jumbo Visma, Mariana Voss. Trek Segafredo's Elisa Longoborghini would be the final lead out looking to try and deliver teammate and world champion Elisa Balsamo to her second win in two days. Mariana Voss, though, launched her move first. Charlotte Cool was on the wheel. Balsamo was there, but for her 31st career Gira Donate stage victory, to Mariana Voss and the delight shows it means as much as the first. Great team job by Mariana Voss who congratulated Charlotte Cool for a great second place. It was third for the Malia Rosa and world champion Balsamo Barbieri, Bertizzolo Capecchi, Norsgaard Zanardi, Baker and Consoni, your top 10. Look at that for a sprint. Mariana Voss knew that she had to go long. She launched her move to the line. Charlotte Cool using the slipstream of uh, Voss and would just find her way through right in those final meters and take second spot. We call her the greatest of all time and deservedly so. Mariana Voss on the top step of the podium. It's a Dutch 1-2, and Balsamo takes third. Elisa Balsamo will take a six seconds advantage over Mariana Voss into the rest day. Georgia Baker still at 12. Kristen Faulkner in fourth spot. Great for the world champion and Italian cycling. Elisa Balsamo in the Malia Rosa. Stage four could be a day that she could defend it with another stage for the sprinters to come on day five. Will she take that lead all the way to the mountains?